Hello out there in cryptocurrency land. Welcome back to Real Crypto. Thank you for joining me today. All right, is 6,000 the bottom we've been looking for and waiting for? Is this the capitulation volume? Is this the meaningful signal that, that we have to get all back in? And um, right now, from what I see currently, it is not that. While we do have some very good volume here, um, it's not looking like it is something that can hold a meaningful and sustained rally in Bitcoin which in the end is something that everybody wants. What you guys are looking for when you say a bottom, you don't mean, generally, you don't mean a spike low and then a, a jump to the upside and then we drift lower. What you mean is a meaningful, sustained rally, okay? By saying the bottom, um, that can mean many things to many people. And what I think, when you say bottom, when someone says bottom to me, that means we're gonna get a meaningful, sustained rally out of it. Where I don't think that's the particular type of action that we have here, and I'm going to walk you through exactly why. All right, so while we did have some very nice action here coming on the bottom of 6,000, even before, even before and after, this is very good volume. This could this could definitely put in a volume. Or I'm sorry, a bottom like this where we can bounce higher, be um, have a nice little choppy market here, but eventually we may break that trend like we did here also like we did here both of these lows right here and right here and this is another one of those lows i think both of these lows had pretty good action to the downside this one albeit has more volume to the downside but with this much volume you would think that we're going to see a larger sustained rally which so far we haven't until we see that kind of definitive action um, I think we're just going to flounder around and then we're eventually going to drift lower again. And I've said this time and time before with bear markets, ladies and gentlemen, you know, how do you handle those? Can you handle those? And I talk about this in the market webinar, um, market cycles webinar. You can check that out on my website, real-crypto.com. Links are down below. Um, I talk about this is you're, you're going to see bounces, but you're going to see failures. You're going to see 20% upside action. 20% choppy action and 60% downside action. Now those aren't those aren't ideal percentages, but what I mean by that is you're going to see more downside action, more choppy action than upside action, and that that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing the bounce. Next, we're going to see choppiness, and then we're probably going to see um, more downside action. But even in this chop right here, even in this chop right here, there's always hope that we continue higher. In this particular first downside move we had with Bitcoin, um, you saw a couple of higher highs, although they never did eclipse um, some more important highs. This was a pretty important high. You know, this level right here was important. This level here is important. This level here is important. And we never breached that level over here. In the same way over here, we have this 13,000 level that was important, right? We chopped around it here, tested it here, tested it here, broke it here, retested it here and failed, and then never retested it. In the same way that over here, we have a failure at 11,000, just, just under 11,000, and that has yet to be tested to the upside. And any of these highs have yet to be a higher high. This is a lower high, this is a lower high, and even right now, we're still in a lower high. So we're not getting a meaningful, sustained, upward upward move which is what when people say bottom that's what i think you mean by when you say bottom when you say is this the bottom you're asking are we going to see a meaningful sustained upside move based off of this action and that answer as of right now is no as of right now is no now could we could we chop around here um break this trend line with some gusto which we attempted to do as you can see here but that isn't the case so far right now we're breaking down beneath of it now we could come down, um, maybe test this low, maybe test this low. A lot of things could happen. But what you need to see, guys, what you need to see, ladies and gentlemen, is a higher low. That's the first sign after capitulation volume that we're really gonna gonna change some trend here. Is you want to see a change in direction. So <clears throat> until you see that change in direction. Um, we're still we're still in a bear market. We're still in a downtrend. You definitely can trade these bounces. This is about a 30% upside move right here. This is a very good place, in my opinion, to take profits. To be quite honest with you, I would take profits here. Um, it, it's just it's not feeling like it to me. And while I I never say you go by your gut feel. If you've been in the markets long enough, you start to get a feel for things. 
and my feeling says this this isn't the bounce um this isn't the the uh, the meaningful upward sustained market that we want okay this is just another bounce maybe we chop sideways maybe we go lower but this is a bounce all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for joining me um check out that market cycles webinar if you want to know more more about market cycles and how to handle them and and reversal signs to look for um so there you go check that out thank you for joining me i will see you next time